Right, today's job, we're going to do a bit of maintenance. It's absolutely been chucking it down. It's absolutely rubbish weather. So we've got front and rear brake pads. We're going to put them in. I need to, I'm going to change the clutch fluid. We're going to bleed that through, put some clutch fluid in. We're going to do brake fluid. And we're going to do an oil and filter change. So first we're going to do the front pads. See how bad they are. Because I think that was pretty though when we did Switzerland. Right, let's get these out. So that's the state of the front pad. So I think we'll do, I think we'll clean, we'll clean out the brakes as well, clean the pistons. Right, that's the first pads I'm in. I've just got to torque up the bolts. And these are the old pads. So they ain't too bad, they've still got, they've got a bit of life in them. Discs are fine, there's no lip on the discs. We'll just talk that up. Cleaned the pistons, three pots. The centre one was moving more freely than these two. I'd imagine they're all meant to move equally, so I've cleaned them up, pushed them in with my fingers, pumped them out with the, the brake lever, and they are now moving a bit more freely. So we'll do the other side, and then we'll get them torqued up, and then we'll do the back brake. So front caliper bolts are... 28 plus 3, 31 newton meters. That's that one. That's that one. That's it. That's all we got. It's two caliper bolts, 31 newton meters. We undo this little bracket here, which just holds the ABS wire. And then the brake pad retaining pin. We'll remove that. So let's do the other side. So same again, this side. Undo that caliper bolt. Undo that caliper bolt. There's no no ABS bracket this side, so that's all we've got to do. That bolt and that bolt. That's the short one. That's the long one. There we go. So there we go. There's the pads. This side, they seem to have worn a bit more, so I might need to clean the calipers, the pistons a bit more on this side, in case one of the pistons is seized. Well, I'll get them pads out and we'll give it a clean. Right, so all we need to do is pull out the brake pad retaining pin. So that's the only thing that holds the brake pads in. There's a little clip there where it hooks under but it's just that bolt there. There we go. Pads have dropped out. 
There's the pin. We'll give that a clean. So, there's still a bit of meat left on them. Not a lot. The inside ones are worn a bit more. We'll give that a clean in there. So we'll, do. we'll pump the brake a tiny bit just to bring out the pistons. Right. Uh, so you know that one's moved. Them two really haven't moved. Pump it a bit more. Yep, so you can see that piston's doing all the work. So what I'll do is I'll clean these up and I'll push them in to free them up a bit and then keep pumping the, the lever, get them to come out a bit. Clean all that crud off them. So there's the new pads. So these, at the end, all they do, they just clip underneath that there, that little clip. And then it's just the retaining bolt, what goes through there. And what goes through there and holds it in place. So I'll put them in and we'll try that piston, see if it's working. Right, now it's time to do the back brake. So for this one, I've got to remove the wheel. But it's quite easy on these cross tubers because it's only a single sided swing arm. So we we'll remove the wheel undo the caliper bolt and then take out the brake pad retaining pin and we'll get them out right now looking at the rear caliper I don't think I need to remove the caliper I might be able to just get the pin out and pull the pads out so I'll try that there we go There's one. Well, they've still got they've still got plenty of beef on them. That one's a bit more worn. Well, we're going to need to push that caliper back. Give it a clean. Right, that's that side gone in. side in oh. in there we go pads them in It was quite easy actually, not having to remove the caliper. Just pop the pad up. There we go. If 
fine on that side. That's fine on that side. Well, I can put the wheel back on now. There we go, back wheel's on. Torqued up to 108 Newton metres. So it's front pads, rear pads are done, and it's probably took uh, 20, 25 minutes. So to the front and back for 25 minutes. I think it's cost me about 48 quid for the pads. So you imagine what the dealers are charging. And how much labour are they charging you to do that? 